Hello, everyone. Turn on your voice. Say hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, hello. hello everybody here. Hello, Lenny. Hello, everyone. Yeah. Hi. We are live. Yeah. Uh, let me tell you, anybody who really uh, is afraid of lag, hey. lag uh, I've got a secret. Log off. Boy, lag will go right down like you can't believe. <laughs> uh, I am really thrilled to be doing this show. This is... Uh, I, since SL5B was the first time. So uh, this will be the ninth show for the Second Life birthday party. And uh, uh, this has lasted longer than we all thought. And hopefully it'll last another 50 years, right? Yeah. So the first part isn't going to be all funny because oh I'm going to take you through the history <laughs> we'll of Second our Life. Home. That's the show, okay? And some of the history isn't funny, so please be aware of that, all right? Uh, from the wiki, and by the way, there's a sim out here that is all about the history of Second Life. Yeah, all of us, right. And it was evolved as an idea from none other than Philip Ros Rosedale. You all know that, Philip Linden, right? Everybody knows that. He envisioned a vast, green, continuous landscape distributed across multiple servers and went on to fail to build it. No. <laughs> this is a joke. Okay, Lindens, don't throw me out of here, all right? I'm being good. <laughs> While he, this, they said this, by the way, it took out two commas. It changes the whole meaning. Listen to this. While he dreamed of virtual worlds since his childhood in 1994, you see there's a comma by childhood in 94, but if you leave it in, he was still a kid in 94, right? Yeah. So in August 2001, the first avatar was Primitar. Did you know that? How many people knew the first avatar was Primitar? Yes, yes. Yep. The blue and yellow they had guy. guns. Terraforming was done by grenades. So you can just get <laughs> Not a joke. Yep, this is true. And men didn't have many attachment points, and that was a whole issue, too. Grief was considered playing the game, okay? <laughs> Obviously, women hadn't arrived yet. It was just a whole bunch of real sourpuss men, right? It was called Linden World, by the way, back then, and it wasn't open to the public. So it was really like the virtual world of Augusta Country Club. <laughs> <laughs> By 2002, Linden World, the original name, was renamed Second Life, and on March 13th, the first resident hit the grid, Stellar Sunshine. Seven months later, the public beta started. That was October 2002, and the first region was called Daboom. <laughs> right, based on the Big Bang. The world map in 2002 looked like a rotten piece of Swiss cheese. I didn't make this up. That's what they say, okay? So this is coming out of the lens. I want to thank, by the way, we've got some great people here working here. Uh, first, Lisa, I, I mean, Linda, Linda Sotero. Yay, Linda. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you so much. And, and Laura Polk is working here tonight, too. And Doc Gascon, who's kept me going on this over the years. And the release of Second Life formally went live in June 2003. Anybody go back to 2003? How about you, Think? You go back there? No, at only to two, time, 2005. Okay. Well, in 2003, at that time, the people who could not afford Lexapro, Valium, Paxil, and other wonder drugs were sent to the new digital drug called Second Life. <laughs> Just check your, uh, you know, your res date. That's your uh, date of admission, all right? <laughs> Hey, guys. <laughs> yeah. At this time, they had a weekly fee, depending on the Prim's resident world. But our early ancestors were smart. They packed up all the Prim's on the day before taxes and re-resed them on the day after. You got to love that. <laughs> right? <laughs> you got to play this. Yep. Yep. 2004, Philip Linden took a page from Prodigy and started his, the blog. <laughs> like Prodigy, <laughs> nobody read it, nobody played it. It was gone, right? <laughs> In 2005, the teen grid started with the concept of using of being used in the Matrix. They got older, the main grid would eat them alive, right? <laughs> that was the concept. And now we turn to 2006, when I came to Second Life. How many of you go back to there? I think we know you're 05, but those of you who remember 06 and probably 07 and 08 and 09, 10, 11, 12, 13... There was Update there was Wednesdays. Wednesday. Wasn't that something? Oh, Wasn't that oh yes. On? Everybody yeah. used to go to the beta grid. Yeah, the beta grid. I was going to get to that at some point. That was really an issue, too. Wasn't that something where you could meet all the people you didn't know and didn't want to talk to, and while you waited for them, they'll back open up the regular grid, right? <laughs> yeah. 
How many of you remember being transported <laughs> and being scalped and your hair would end up in a place we can't mention in the sim, okay? And a shoe at the same time. <laughs> many, many times. <laughs> and you have to wonder about the programmer who said, okay, if something goes wrong, let's put the hair and shoe here, okay? <laughs> 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 Those of you who forget, how many of you remember An Shi Sheng? Who was mentioned who as the first person to become a millionaire, yeah, in Second Life. And you know what happened oh, yeah. to her? Anybody know? No. She's living on a beach in Saint-Tropez, and she spends all her hard-earned lindens buying a watch at Cartier's now. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. 17 days after I arrived, a huge event occurred. Second Life had technical difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the claim was that on October 18th, Second Life reached 1 million residents. Well, we don't know if they had 1 million residents or 1 million alts. We'll never know for sure, right? <laughs> Big claims. Big claims. Yep. And this is when the special Linden beer was given out to celebrate the event. And, and Dr. Fran has every Linden beer in every color ever made. Absolutely. Yeah. Don't you, Dr. Fran? Every one of them. Of course I do. Yep, and she's brought them all into First Life, and she has them in her office, so when uh, clients come in. <laughs> <laughs> I said, who's the crazy one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yep, since that date, Linden Beers have gone from being cherished gifts held in high value to now residing in assisted living facilities with a cast including Ozamels, Flurbies, and other animals <laughs> Peter <laughs> was not fighting for. <laughs> yeah. Sony entered Second Life in October 2006, just in time to find themselves on the slippery slope of Samsung. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember when land would trade for thousands of dollars? How many of you remember when it was your money? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know, our friends in First Life were right. <laughs> we were going to lose the money we spent on that land. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, they have so many cute buttons in our viewer, right? But the button I want so badly is, how many Lindens have I spent since I've been here? <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, man. Ouch. I want to know that one. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah, I know. My son once said, <laughs> you know, this is a game. <laughs> to which I replied to him, yeah, well, now your inheritance is a joke. <laughs> yeah, I'm leaving all this stuff to, it's all in my will, right? I can't wait for them to all come in. I got a lawyer has got to come in and find me. That's going to be great. And then all of you, I hope that if, if you all outlast me, you just come to the funeral and let all the people who knew me in first life realize they were right. I'm really nuts. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, we're, and we're what you're wearing today. Let's all look the way we look. Hey, let's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and 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 uh, Laura, can you hear all right? And Linda, is that good? I think we got everybody over on this side. Yeah, remember Avatar rendering cost? Yep. I remember going to clubs in 2010, and Avatar saying to me, "Take off your hair, take off your script. Your arc is too hard. You're creating lag." Remember all that stuff, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just switch on voice and go. If you just log off, lag wouldn't bother you so much. They'd look one at, look at me. They would log off, man. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> 2007. Now we're moving forward. 2007. Remember that? Yeah, what a great year. It was the beginning of Lauren Live, right, Think? You remember that, right? Also, it was the beginning of the Architecture Working Group, AWG. Lauren Live is still going strong. AWG doesn't exist. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. It was promoted by Linden Lab to develop protocols to open up Second Life Grid. There was to be three to four meetings a year to be coordinated on, you guessed it, the Second Life birthday. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and as you know, <laughs> the last meeting, the second meeting was in 2008, and that's all they wrote for that. <laughs> You know, I don't know who's came up with more things that ended so quickly, Google or Second Life. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, Google Lively. Oh, God, I'll get back to that in a minute. But, you know, we in Second Life, I don't know how many people realize there wouldn't have been a Facebook if it hadn't been for Second Life. We were the ones who started friending everybody in Facebook. We made Facebook famous, 
right? <laughs> we were the ones <laughs> that started using Twitter and Plurk. We were the ones right. who stopped using MySpace. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we, we are know, the early adopters. Yep. Exactly, the early Ooh. adopters. We should have a group, a uh, singing group, <laughs> the early adopters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And how many of you remember in 2007 that profile rating system, right? Uh huh. Where you paid 50 mm -hmm. linens to rate a friend, 50 per category, best builder, yeah. best dress. So after yeah. spending thousands of lindens on friends, they just ended it. And then they <laughs> came back later with new profile ratings, general, moderate, mature, adult, and immature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they wore that out. I can't. I, there must have been a heck of a day when they said, okay, look how many lindens we have, and if we just end it, we can keep them. <laughs> <laughs> This is the year two, 2007, when everybody in Second Life really learned about frame Ouch. rates, right? Now, now Haley is in here right now with a brand new computer making us all feel terrible. She's got 140 frame rate, okay? <laughs> Which we all remember <laughs> any sort of computer, right? Last about two weeks, and then we drop down to nine. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so enjoy these two weeks, Haley. Just have a good time. Thanks, hey, white people, how are you? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, you can watch your frame rate and it drops down, drops down to four, and cr then you're crying. When it hits three, you're buying a new computer. Even though everything else works on your computer, you can do Word, you can do browser, you can do everything. You can do complex mathematical problems. But if your frame rate drops to four, you need a new computer. Ooh, look, half the sim just disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> dear. <laughs> Yeah, where right. the people go? We're yeah, good. We're still here. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, welcome there back. You go. There you go. back. It's like we like the link dropped. Come over Come here, over Tim. Here, You'll Tim. be safe. You've done it now. Well, it says one stress off about second life. It's never going to work for her. How about 2007 was when Winlight was like Do you remember that? In viewer version 1.19. And that didn't work that didn't very work well either. Well either. <laughs> Somebody's <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, is that right? Yeah. I had a friend had once a friend called, up called up Alienware and said, I want the said, fastest, want best, best computer to run Second Life. Second and when I asked whether she wanted Microsoft Office install, she said, nope, I just no, wanted to run Second Life. And she knows who she is. She's in the room. Yeah. My new Aces. Yep. But in 2007 was another special. That midsummer, Linden Labs released Voice Enabled. Do you remember that, guys? Ooh. Yeah, and that changed everything. I remember the first time Voice Enabled was released, we had to go to a sim to try it out. You just couldn't do what we're doing here. You had to go to a sim. And I went with Nyla, who Nyla, House of Nyla, Nyla, which I have a lot of clothes I bought from her, but now it look like, uh, you know. It's amazing. Yeah, they're dated. I mean, this is only a few years ago, and it looks like 1950 dress, right? <laughs> Maybe it'll come back. <laughs> but anyhow, I went with her to the voice sim, and it was unbelievable. There had to be somewhere around 23 avatars, six male, 17 female. Everyone turned on voice, and the only female voice was Nyla's, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I hasn't changed. stammered at that moment. Hello. To be, Am I the only woman in Second Life? And I looked at her and I said, no, I'm here. <laughs> yeah. 2007 with voice enabled also, uh, many of the escort services had to close. You know, there was a lot of pay patrons that were somewhat disappointed once they heard what their girl sounded like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Grandma, you still smoking, huh? <laughs> An orientation island. Yeah. I found a, a, a Linden there. I don't know how many of you went to orientation island. I used to go back for, just for fun, you know, to see if I could, uh, you know, jump over the little cliff you know <laughs> <laughs> do you remember when you first came on you had to go through orientation island and you said i'm just not doing anymore i want to get to the end of this right <laughs> but i went back yeah. there when voice was enabled and i found a linden and i asked could i ask him something in voice and he said sure 
So he popped on voice. I turned on voice, and I said to him, <laughs> do you know where the ladies' room is? I got to go pee. <laughs> 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 uh, by the way, everybody, that is a G word. It's a letter, okay? And it's brought to you by the letter L. <laughs> Double L. Double L7. <laughs> right? <laughs> Another thing I remembered was when my avatar got balked. Do you remember that? Anybody ever have it where you couldn't fix it and you were in a panic and you didn't know what to do and it was just a disaster? Yeah. There were many different types of books, you know, the hair and the shoe and the butt. We figured that one out. And how about when you left a sim while you were sitting? Do you remember that one? Oh, hey, Pearly. <laughs> yeah. And if you then logged on somewhere else, you were in that position, and you couldn't get out of that position unless you could remember where it was that you actually sat, which you didn't remember because you'd been drinking the night before, and you just simply logged on. So you had to try to reach and there was no history or anything. <laughs> You go back to some sim and go, was I sitting here? And you'd ask people, do you know where I was sitting last night? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <clears throat> that was kind of embarrassing if you happened to not be sitting on something, but instead had been in a uh, not G-rated pose ball. <laughs> had to go <laughs> find that again. <laughs> Especially if he had picked it up and left. <laughs> yeah. So anyhow, yeah. Anyhow, back to that book. I called concierge service. I had that. Remember that? Concierge service? Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. right after the old days when you was told to press F1. That was the one <laughs> key that never did <laughs> anything. You know, press F1. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that when I pressed F1, a French Dassault jet fighter had been given to the go-ahead to assault a small town in Algeria. <laughs> Those of you who don't know, an F-1 was a French fighter jet. <laughs> yes. They never made the F-2 because the F-1 never really flew. No, I'm joking. That would <laughs> yeah, via, oh yes, Baba oh, Avion, very mama. good, Doctor. There you go. Right. I like, I like that. Was better than oh, saying you airmail on your letters. Are you all done you put avion, pa avion. Yeah, all right. So anyhow, back to the book in concierge services. I called in and I got Lion Linden. Now, I don't mean L-Y-I-N, L-I-O-N, <laughs> Lion Linden, all right? <laughs> there were plenty of L-Y-I-N, <laughs> but this one was Lion Linden. He's gone. Yeah. Anyhow, he came in world to help me, and when he saw my avatar and heard my voice, he looked like a caged animal. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it was pretty cool, but he explained in order for me to not be booked, I had to detach all, and then I had to log off and come back in another sim, okay? And he told me, here's a sim that there'd be nobody would be in it, and he was going to leave and let me just detach all, which is a sort of frightening thing for us girls, right? All right, so mm -hmm. anyhow, <clears throat> so <clears throat> watching him, I asked him to turn around. He didn't leave, you know. I said, oh, I'm still <laughs> and so anyhow, I hit the detach off and quickly hit the log off, logged off, right after I'd slipped out of everything, right? And I logged on to the sim that he'd given me, Lion Linden, and there he was with three other guys, right? <laughs> Uh, I was no longer balked. There I was in all my pretty finery, working just perfectly with these four guys just hovering over me, asking me, was I okay? <laughs> this, this looks like an episode from Law and Order. <laughs> <I'm excited. laughs> That's SBU right now. This is the, what the hell am I talking about? Anyhow, it's a great year for S Second Life in 2007. Yeah, people were building all sorts of things. Do you remember your first time when you went to a sandbox and all you could do was try to res a pine box? You thought, oh, this is great. They can bury me right in this now. Yeah. And there was always somebody next to you building a spaceship or a car or a this mm -hmm. phenomenal thing. Right? What were they doing in that sandbox? This was like for us that didn't know anything. I was amazed by that. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, and I clicked on a car. Did you ever do this? Like in the sandbox, I clicked mm -hmm. on a car, 
pie chart came up. Remember pie charts, everybody? Okay. Mm -hmm. Press sit. I was in the car. And then I was thrown far, far, far away with these words, <laughs> you are not the driver. Yeah. <laughs> I, what does that mean? I'm not the driver. <laughs> no, something. Yeah, could have said I wasn't the owner. Could have said you're stealing the car. The cops will be here in five minutes. That would have been interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Now, 2008, we get to 2008. Yeah, that was a lot like 2007, except <laughs> Philip Linden stepped down as CEO, and we got M. Linden. Do you remember that? Um, yeah. 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 The Dark yes. Ages. Yes. Yeah, he was half of the M&M brothers. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Philip and I friended back in 2007. I should tell you that. That was a great story. I own this piece of land in Second Life. I still own this piece. And there was an object straddling my property and another. So you couldn't return items like this. So you had to do something. So I clicked on who the owner was and I saw who that was. But there's also who the creator was and it said Philip Linden. It was a Philip Linden item. So I sent Dear Philip and I am saying, would you please remove your junk from my property? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> He rezzed right into where I was. I didn't have a clue who he was. Oh, God. Thank, He's got thank God we didn't have a voice yet because he would have been really scared. <laughs> you should have seen him at the 2008 conference in Tampa when he finally met me. <laughs> I saw him use Purell right after shaking my hand. <laughs> Yeah, but anyhow, he rezzed in, and we became friends, and uh, and he never answered any of my IMs. <laughs> That's the kind of friend you want, right? <laughs> Do you remember when Second Life would crash and couldn't open because of Update Wednesday? And you go to the beta grid. That's what we <laughs> talked about before, Dr. Fran. Do you remember that? Yes. Uh, yes, we yeah. used to spend mm -hmm. our time there. Yeah, you spent a lot of time there. Waiting. Right. While, yeah. while the monkeys were banging, while the gorillas were banging on things. Yeah, and do you yep. remember, like, it, it, we knew Update Wednesday was coming. It was unbelievable. Every one of us knew it. We were at work, so we couldn't even log on, except for Dr. Fran. But we were all <laughs> upset because we couldn't log on. Even though we couldn't log on, we were still upset. It was unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> we push home. If they said they were going to be open at whatever time, and we got home and we clicked and we weren't open, that was it. That was like, oh, my God, I didn't get my hair on. <laughs> remember that that was real what an issue that was unbelievable and the other thing always got me crazy was when you crash and it still exists today when you go to relog it'll say that you can't come back in until sometime in the future based on pacific time i don't know what they're talking about i used to sit there and it would say like five minutes later or something but i didn't know so i would sort of i was tapping my foot or doing something and i clicked before the five minutes minutes and I got in. So I said, oh, <laughs> that's what made it work. If I tap my foot five times, Garth can go home, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I've been, you know, since 2007, I've been doing my show here. Started with thinking uh, Geo and what have you. And uh, I wander around for material. I'd go all over the place. Yeah, so I went to Gore, all right? And uh, that's interesting. Gore had very specific rules about visiting. If you were, you couldn't uh, talk to somebody. They had to talk to you. You could wander. You had to, you know, you had to watch people being dragged by their hair screaming. That was kind of interesting. Yes, right. That was great. Geo <laughs> <Yeah. coughs> used to go and rescue girls from Gore. That was his entire job for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I could profile perv, okay? And I did come across one fellow whose profile said, I'm a mute dom. Well, my first thought was, this guy's a husband. <laughs> <laughs> nice. The big joke of 2008. How many do you remember? This was the big, big joke of 2008. How many Lindens does it take to change a light bulb? Answer, please, everyone, be patient. We're doing the best we can. <laughs> Check the blog for updates. And in the meantime, here's our Torley with 10 super fun things to do in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> best joke of 2008. <laughs> Everybody having fun? Are we having a good time? Yeah. 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 Fantastic. Yeah. Grasshopper, how are you? Sino, if you're here, great to see you, Liza. 
Yeah, fantastic. I hope you're all having a good time. So we're going to go on because this is a whole – I told you I was going to do a new show, didn't I? A few old things in there, but there's a lot of new stuff in here. I've been working on the show. Hey, Lenny. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh... So also 2008 was filled with these fun little thoughts, remember? This was the kind of things people would come up with. Dinner in First Life was better before voice. <laughs> yes. Most of you wouldn't make much difference if you answered in First Life to your Second Life name. But when somebody calls out for Lauren in the airport and I show up, you know, that's scared. That's worse than the terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And, or if you saw your husband in the morning, right? Come on, any of you, your boyfriend, you'd think he's still rezzing. <laughs> yeah. How many of you, when you went looking for a house in First Life, would ask the realtor, how many prim is this house? <laughs> How many prim does this land support? <laughs> yeah. I have one friend. She said she saw a pretty dress, and she said to the person, nice texture. I mean, can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, your real estate taxes has gone up at First Life, right? And you wondered how come since you got a new tier because you didn't add any more land. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you, but this happened to me, and it happened to a few other people. You ever show up? Now, this wouldn't happen to you, Haley, but some of us don't live in Second Lifetime. But we ended up showing up in First Life in Second Lifetime, which wasn't the right <laughs> time for the meeting. <laughs> We're generally several hours late. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, how many of you would go shopping in the mall around uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas season and go, wow, there's too much lag and go home? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wanted to go to the mall. You know, I, I just want to see what would happen if I put a letter above some of the chairs in the mall and see if anybody sit in and think it's a lucky chair. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, some of the things I would like to have from Second Life to First Life. I would love to have the mute button, right? <laughs> oh, yes. Hell yeah. Great. Uh, you guys, you already have the mute button. You never hear a word we're saying. <laughs> yeah. But girls, wouldn't it be great if we had the log? Wouldn't that be great? We could just turn to the guys and go, this is what you said. <laughs> How about being able to de-render stuff? That would be great, huh? Uh, how about that? Oh, Go in yeah. the bathroom, he left the wet towel on the floor, he just goes, click, it's gone. <laughs> and one of my favorite things that I would have loved to have, loved to have, is to go into the bathroom, look in the mirror, and have a little button on the wall, and it would just change my hairdo. That's it. Done. <laughs> I think I'm <laughs> today. <laughs> yeah. Girls, how many of you remember the first time you were adjusting your jewelry? Guys, you don't have this problem, but we did. Remember that belly ring, the first time you put a belly <gasps> ring in and you dragged it oh, and you gosh. don't know where it ever went? It just kept going and going and gone. <laughs> 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 how many people walked around with nine belly rings inside themselves? They never knew it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. They may still have some in there. <laughs> And back before we had all these things, you worked very hard on all this. Uh, oh, by the way, i got to tell you, there's a gift right here that uh, Dr. Frank can't get it. everybody. You can't see get the it. gift right here? No, you have to click on the bag, not on the box. Oh, okay. You've got to click the bag. The bag. The box is only there so you work. see it. Ooh. It doesn't work? It doesn't work. No. It works for me. It doesn't oh. work for me. Oh, let me let see me what it, why it's not it working. Doesn't. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. All right, we're going we're gonna to edit. We're going to do this. We're not going to spend forever on this, all right? We'll unlink it. Okay. We'll see what happens. Then we'll go back to this thing. And then let me see. Don't anybody do anything until I see what's going on. Oh, are you it's... kidding? Tell, tell the crowd of Second Lifers not to click on something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is, oh, I see what it is. All right. I got it. All right. I think I've got it fixed. See this print? Don't touch. Right. Let's see if this is it. Okay. Now try it. Did you get it? Yes. All right, fixed. All right, Yay. we'll take that. Yay. That was good. Yay. Nice yeah. work, Thank Lauren. You, Dr. That all together, right? Thank you. It's, yep. That's Lauren's. <laughs> yeah, this is a gift from Dr. Fran from for the Second Life 10th birthday from Lauren Lai. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> Souvenirs. I, how about you? I mean, this is back what I was saying, Dr. Fran. You know, like you, 
You, Rick, uh, are you getting a purse? You know, you... you... <laughs> That's great. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Line up prims. How many of you spent hours lining up prims on your property and realized, oh my God, I'm turning OCD? <laughs> <laughs> I had one friend went on a trip in First Life, forgot to bring her computer, and she actually thought, oh my God, I didn't bring anything to wear. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Been there. Been there. Yeah, right. Sometimes I wake up in First Life. I go in the closet and I wonder, who's the guy that's living here? <laughs> <laughs> Am I married? Did I go to Vegas? What happened? <laughs> Am I pregnant? <laughs> uh, do you remember the rumor when Google Lively was going to buy us? <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Any good? Google crumbs all over. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Here's another great item from 2008. Okay. The Misty tool. Do you remember that one? I this still has have wonderful it. Wonderful Second Life oh. features. You know, everyone still could be a it. griefer. You could orbit people, cage your friend, fire burning them, and then came 2009. Now that's the next year in this. And in the history of Second Life, the big event was the merging of On Res X Street into Second Life Marketplace. Do you remember that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Now, Haley didn't like that. She didn't like that. She didn't like mesh. But along the way, she's remained after all these years. She, she's, now, <laughs> she's now becoming a mesh girl, by the way, because she's got a new computer. <laughs> Watch out, <laughs> <Yeah>. doors. <laughs> the, the other big thing in, in 2009 was Zindra. Now, I can't talk about that because this is where we are, okay? <laughs> but I can say this, that it was adult content, all right? Wasn't that the same year you had to be age verified? Do you remember this? Three levels, G, P, D, and mature. Mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, I remember oh, yeah. that. Yeah. Yep. And in 2009, I also remember they did a surveys. Yeah, remember that? You'd log on, they'd ask you a question. Is your second life gender and first life gender the same? My cat once typed yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true for the cat. Yeah. <laughs> but they'd ask you, how can we make your second life better? You know what I'd do? I'd type back, don't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This was another thing, okay? Remember all the stuff you had to learn, like when you had to learn acronyms? Remember ROFL? You, know, you guys have been to the show. You know ROFL. I thought that was a dog laughing. Ronald, Ronald, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was LOL and AFK. That took me a long time, AFK. I didn't know what that was. I thought that was a dog, the dog that was dyslexic, couldn't make an R out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Off, whatever. BRB, WTF, you know, I can't, I can't tell you how I learned that. That stands for where's the fruit, right? <laughs> <laughs> Other issues I found in 2009 was when I found I started camming web pages. How many of you started doing that? Yes. Trying to cam the back. I, I like the to back. see what that looks like from the back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. You know, you have to be a wiper to be doing that. You can't just be the regular. <laughs> I totally do that. Yeah. And 2009 was when I stopped answering phone calls from people in First Life. <laughs> it, began <laughs> it began the end of television to some degree. Yeah. And some of the first light bumper stickers that I could see that I liked. I liked this. Uh, so many pedestrians, so little time. Uh, <laughs> nice to America or we'll bring democracy to your country. <laughs> <laughs> Lost your cat. Try looking under my tires. You can read this. I'm not impressed. Most people can read. <laughs> <laughs> I get along fine with God. It's his fan club I can't stand. <laughs> oh, clever. This vehicle is protected by an anti theft sticker. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, some Second Life bumper stickers I thought would be great. Uh, practice safe sex, use pose balls. <laughs> <laughs> Because the voices are talking to me. <laughs> That's what every one of us can say to our other. <laughs> right? <laughs> I haven't lost my mind. It's backed up on SL Log. <laughs> <laughs>
Good things. The Lin- good thing the Lindens didn't control First Life. Can you imagine if they had controlled First Life? Where would the roads lead? Can you imagine? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, like two blocks, and there'd be a building right there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Can you imagine what kind of lag we'd have at the mall? I mean, the pottery barn would never sell anything. (laughs) (laughs) Driving from one town to the next, and you got stuck between the two, the crossover between one to the next (laughs) town. (laughs) And all of a sudden, you go through the downtown section at 900 miles an hour. (laughs) You complete yourself back to the start. Yeah. The great thing they didn't control First Life because Wednesdays would have been really interesting. (laughs) 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 Want to have some fun in First Life? Bring a picture of your favorite Second Life hairdo to your stylist and say, can you do this? (laughs) (laughs) Haley, you've got some you can bring, right? (laughs) Hey, hippie, how are you out there? Second Life also changed parts of my first life. I stopped fixing typos, and I started answering to Lauren at the airport. Those are two major things. That <laughs> 2010 rolled around, okay? Sorry. That was the year Viewer 2.0 was launched. Remember, it came just after they'd reached 1.999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
Yes. <laughs> really <No>. bad for me. <laughs> <I don't know>. <laughs> <laughs> you walk like that, you'd be arrested. Uh. <laughs> yeah. And this was great. In that year, 2011, we're now to 2011, okay? That's when the Second Life Community Platform was started and was powered, believe it or not, they said this, by lithium, okay? Uh -huh. I was right, all right? All along, Second Life is a Pfizer, and Second Life is digital medicine, all right? Okay? Yeah, your profile says it all. And the, this medicine, digital medicine, was used for many things. Uh, ED, I can't say that. GI, I'll say that. We'll save those for Tuesday. You can say gender <laughs> issues, can't you? <laughs> sure. Yeah. So I noticed programs are now in HD. Have you noticed how many things are in HD? You guys are all aware of HD, yeah? Uh, which probably means you have to be ADHD to get the full effect. <laughs> <laughs> so I got into God mode once in Second Life. Anybody ever get into God mode in Second Life? Have you ever tried that? I never knew there were 200,000 Jira issues. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Neither do the Lindens. I I often think of Jira as like the digital version of the Wailing Wall. <laughs> <laughs> I hear in Iran uh, they're making a deal with the U.S. regarding their nuclear plants. Yeah, we're going to put in Control Alt D. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He complains about lag in Second Life. How many people? You, how many people have you heard? Oh, there's this lag and a lag, lag, lag. I mean, come on. How about First Life? You ever noticed the lag at a wake? <laughs> what the lag at a restaurant at a ball game? <laughs> the right lag the on the freeways in California. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. Oh God. Uh, yeah, with the freeway. Yeah, in California. Only California calls it a freeway. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Highway. Yeah. I want to know why we park. Why we park yeah. in driveways, but we drive on parkways. What's up with that? That's, there you go on that, too. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I think Kim Kardashian's marriage was based on the Second Life Partnership. They both last about a week. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. I wish they had a pull-down menu, you know, in profile, so we could see the other person who they had partnered. And they'd be rated. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> uh -huh. It'd be like Yelp. <laughs> <laughs> like, like instead of open table, it's open partner. <laughs> you need to have a rating system like on eBay where you, your partner, your past partners can rate you. Oh, is that right? <laughs> That's great. So this I saw once. This was a second life partner divorce that somebody put this in. All right. First one. So I've been partnered with somebody for a few months and it has gradually fallen apart. They never sign on anymore, and when they do, I basically get ignored. I do care about this person quite a bit, and I really don't want to lose a friendship, although I'm prepared for the fact that I might not be able to be saved. Being that this is the first time I've ever had this type of experience, virtual divorce, I could use a bit of advice. What type of experience have you had with this? Any advice on how to handle this tactfully? Thanks in advance for your input. Oh, sweetie, you're talking to someone whose first Second Life marriage was to a horse she met that morning. It ended in divorce the following day, and my second life marriage was to a pal for RP purposes, but still ended in bitterness and acrimony. I'm no position to give advice. But isn't that something? Yeah, we've all had a lot of emotional stuff happening to us in second life, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, haven't we all? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, so 2012, this was the year of the second life convention and first life formally ended, right? Is that the year that they stopped the whole thing? And instead, we were given another Linden beer. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that? Nothing. Yeah, well, you, you're collecting them. Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah. what, what, what were those little things that people were collecting in First Life years ago? Beanie babies. Birds? I have Beanie hundreds babies. of those. <laughs> Aren't they coming back? Oh, God. Yeah. Do you no, remember they're... somebody traded one for $30,000 or something? Yeah. Right? They're not worth it. Like that. Flush their right. out of now. I'm still wondering if the person who bought the grilled cheese sandwich that looked like Christ is he's trying to sell that. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Right. <laughs> it's a good thing it was a grilled cheese sandwich because if it had been, if it had been a ham and cheese, then there would have been issues on that. <laughs> pork in that <laughs> yeah. So anyhow, 
Yep. No advancements, improvements, or changes occurred in 2012, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Linden Labs was now on autopilot. There was nobody at the place. The whole thing's being run by a bot. <laughs> also, the Second Life Viewer Awards were started in 2012. Categories included Best Male Disguised as a Female. <laughs> best, <laughs> best Recorded Singer Pretending to be Live. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Most Abby's rest in Second Life by a single user on one computer. Haley may be able to get the record now. <laughs> <laughs> Best Prim. <laughs> what furry? Oh, and Best Inventory Sorter. I, that's what I really wanted. I need, I need a maid in Second Life. How many of you need a maid in Second Life? You know, somebody comes in, yeah. straightens up your mm -hmm. house, cleans up your inventory, you know. <laughs> takes, <laughs> takes the dresses that you wore out to the cleaner, brings them back, puts them away <laughs> so they're color coded, they're nice to order, right? Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm voting for for the next thing. Yeah, that'd be great, you know. Because <laughs> I can't find stuff. And the worst part is some people are fabulous at this. I'm pretty good at it, but then it's kind of messy. You know, some people, <clears throat> like they have, well, I think some of you, but I know who you are, but you have pictures of them and you have them sorted by designer and by color and by whether you could be wearing it in daylight or at nighttime or whatever, <laughs> right? Listen, all I got to do is change the environmental say, set, the settings. To me, it's always perfect. <laughs> 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 How do you think Ruth? Uh, do you think she's aged well? I'd like to see what she looks like now. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> Wouldn't you like to see her? Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't that be weird if the next update was they morphed our avies so that as we got older, we looked older, we couldn't change back? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. no. <laughs> that would not be popular. Yeah, that'd be something, huh? <laughs> I can't believe it. I got a sag of my eyelid. <laughs> <laughs> I got crow's feet coming on here. <laughs> and 2013, this is where we are now. Yep. So I came up with these thoughts, okay? You know what they call it before there was Second Life, what we're doing? It's called hallucinations. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I like it so much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what I was doing. Oh, uh, <laughs> girls, we've come a long way. A long way down when you think about it. Way, way back in prehistoric times, we pined for somebody who could hunt, right? Bring back food and hunt. Only 50 years ago, we were happy with a guy who could take an engine apart, slick his hair back, light two cigarettes at once, and had a decent job. And now, <laughs> some nerdy guy, we don't know if he's fat, old, young, or has a job, living with his mom, etc., but he's on Second Life, and that's all that matters, right? <laughs> 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 so, believe it or not, this is about uh, 12 minutes before the show is supposed to end, which is great because I've just about finished this show. That's the show that I wrote. I didn't know how long it would last. It lasted uh, 12 minutes to not long enough, but I can add stuff to it. But I don't know if any of you have any questions you want to ask me. We haven't done this before. Is there anybody out there? And I want you to know we have some tremendous comedians out there. And those of you who are the first time you're here, every Tuesday at... 5 p.m. Second Lifetime at Cookie Sim. We have all these comedians, and then we have after that music, and after that, <clears throat> we sit down and talk. Okay, Catboy, yeah, Catboy is one of our great comedians. Absolutely, absolutely. We've got so many good comedians. And let me take a look around the room because I haven't done that, so I'm, I, I don't know how to do that anymore. Oh, let's see, people nearby. All right, let's see who's nearby. Oh, hey, Damien and uh, Dalashuka and Dr. Fran. And there's all sorts of people out here. We have so many people. I like you guys who make these, like, little new characters that we can't even see who you are uh, because you do things. I, I think, uh, yeah, here's one. that I, I don't even know who that is. But I know who that is. Yeah, that's uh, somebody that I don't know who it is. Yeah. And there's another one. Look down and look at these things. They come. Subliminal, you're here. Yeah, nice to see you. And Beth Katzai is here. And Timory is here. Timory has a blog, for those of you who don't know. And uh, her blog is really fun. You should actually look at that. And so does Dr. Fran, who does a blog on all the freebies here in Second Life. You can find out about that. Tindali is here. 
And Tindali's a lot of exhibitionists. You're an exhibitionist, not huh, Tindali? Yeah, well, <laughs> depends on what I'm wearing. I'm an exhibitionist, too. Hello, Bardo. And is here. Oh, Bioni's a dear, dear friend from Japan. And, uh, and let's see who else is out there looking around. Uh, Thinker is here, and Geo is here, and uh, there's, a, there's a lot of people, and I still have 10 more minutes. So <laughs> trying to use that up. So let's see what we can do about that without crashing. Oh, my computer is freezing up. At least you can still hear me, right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yep. cool. Yeah. Because my computer just went blinkers on it. Well, we'll see how long it lasts before it does. It might come back. Oh, it just came back. Thank God for small wonders. Yeah, yeah I don't have that nice special. Uh, uh... Oh, you know what we can do? You know what we can do for the last? Let's look at our horoscopes, okay? We haven't done horoscopes in a long time. And we're right here now. This is uh, where we just got into cancer. Is that correct? Is this? Today is cancer? Yes. Is that right? Yes, we did. Yeah, so you need to begin this month by putting your foot down with a friend who thinks they are acting in your best interest. Romance may be difficult mid-month, and you will need to think seriously how, how, how to move it forward, especially if you find out she is a he. <laughs> <laughs> for those of you who are Leos, so this only counts for your second life dates, okay? Not for your first life dates. If you're a Leo... Emotions are running high in the first half of the month, but you are unusually perceptive right now and can resolve things with a few chosen words like, no, I will not partner you. Okay, write that down if you're a Leo. Okay. <laughs> I'm a Leo. <laughs> yeah, right. Virgos, okay. A range of positive influences this month means that you will see success literally falling into your lap. Her name is Candy Lips Vavoom. You may find getting so excited that you lose some particles. <laughs> I read these, make sure none of these, these are all G so far, but who knows what the rest of them are. <laughs> Libra, if you're a Libra, it's a little early in the year to be thinking about taking a vacation, but the planets indicate this is the best time for you to leave Second Life since you haven't gotten up from your chair in nearly two years. Scorpio. <laughs> 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 Scorpios really need to be told to be cautious, as it's their standard approach to decision-making. However, the planetary influences are encouraging you to take risk right now, so perhaps you should go to Gore or be in Second Life Emo, or being a Second Life Emo is for you. Just remember, the first cut is the deepest. <laughs> no, that one's not good, right? they don't, they're not all good. Come on. Yeah. Sagittarius. If you act now, success will be fully within your grasp. Go get yourself some nice dance moves, get a stripper pole, and invite a hot friend over. <laughs> Capricorn. <laughs> You've been feeling as though something has been holding you back. This is called lag. <laughs> <laughs> for those who are Aquarius, if you're looking for success this month, then you can rely on your charming personality and a couple of great pose balls. We have great to have some pose balls at first life. I think we should really do this. Have pose ball day. Go out to like Michael's, buy some of these things, like they're six or eight inches, spray them pink and, and blue, and start gluing them all over the city of wherever you live. I mean, come on. Dude, what a hell of a Can you imagine CNN if all of a sudden there were like, in, like 70 cities had pose balls glued all over them? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, we could come up with all sorts of great ideas, you know? Yeah. We could go like to a church where people are getting married and just put a pink and blue pose ball right up there near the altar. <laughs> See how they act. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great in Second Life? I always want to do this, you know? Like if I could only have some sort of like power, you know, where you have uh, building rights or whatever. So people are getting married, they got all these animations in it. How about if you swap them all for other things that were a lot more interesting than. <laughs> I went to a wedding once in Second Life, and they actually asked the question, does anybody object? I got up and said, I, uh, I object. <laughs> they said, about what? About how much lag is in this wedding? <laughs> Pisces, okay, if you're Pisces, nostalgia is likely to dominate the last couple of weeks, but you should delete old inventory, especially since you now have nearly 20,000 dresses in your closet. <laughs> <There he is. laughs> those of you with families of first life are feeling a powerful need to get the hell out of second life because they've signed legal papers to commit you other areas will be <laughs> getting <in touch. laughs> 
That might be Others, happening as we, we speak. Others, we to get in touch with past Second Life partners, and you may find yourself nostalgically flicking through the family Flickr albums. How many of you are taking your pictures from Second Life and sticking them right in the family album? It's going to be great for 100 <laughs> years from now. Holy <laughs> Oh, my God. That was my grandmother, my grandfather. Oh, my God. Oh, that was my grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Taurus. If you are single, then be prepared to be convinced that love at first sight really can happen in Second Life. But be aware that first glimpse of him or her in First Life could make that romantic evening turn into Fright Night. <laughs> <laughs> and for you Gemini, as a Gemini, you have a natural charm and wit, which means you'll probably spend thousands of lindens under partnering the idiots your charm and, and wit drew to your fire. <laughs> and though there's your, there's your horoscope, and we're down to the last four minutes. I don't have to go to the last four minutes. Anybody have any questions? Come on. This is, this is your show, too. Anybody? Because it's been a lot of fun. And uh, <clears throat> a lot of fun. I love all of you for coming and showing up, and uh, unfortunately, some of us have to work tomorrow, which should be very interesting. <laughs> Can I have money? Yes, Gary, that's great. Remember when people would? Would <laughs> <laughs> you, you have kind of a linden, say, please? Yeah, when they say, "Can I have ten linden? Can I borrow five linden?" I'd always say to them, "Sorry, I have nothing smaller than a five hundred. I'm sorry." <laughs> that made it easy. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite things was, you know, I had a wallet that had like uh, th thousands of lindens popping out of it. And I have it in my hand. I go over to the newbie sims where they just come in. And I go up to the different ones. I go, did you drop this? They'd all say yes. Oh, yes, you dropped this. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's rethink this out. Okay. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to get off of this stage now and get my stuff. Yay, stuff Lauren. I want to thank you. Thank all of you for being here. Take this, eat it, eat that. And I get that out. I could leave that there, but I don't know what'll happen if I go out there. Oh, works now. What? Fireworks. Fireworks is next up. What? Who's next up? I think fireworks. They're going to show fireworks. Fireworks. In the next oh, hour. fantastic. Okay. Going to midnight, everybody. All right. Well, are they going to do that here? Yep. In this, well, oh, good. yes, in this in this cake stage at any rate. I don't know exactly wow, where. Great. Are they going to blow up the cake? Nope. <laughs> they did that last year and the year before. Well, maybe they will, but they can't do it now. It's not close. It's not time to close it up. Right. The 28th? Yeah. 29th. We're 29th. 29th. Yes. 29th. 29th. 